Okay, quick project, less than three minutes. Uh, I pretty much imported all the pictures I need. So I had copied the top of the um, ocean scene. And this is basically the top of the portion of the ocean scene. Uh, I just want to blend it with the uh, bottom half. I, I always typically just use the eraser tool for a quick um, job. Let me make sure we don't need the eraser tool. It looks like we're on healing brush. Alright. Larger the button, just like so. Make it a little bit larger. Get rid of that. And then I always flip it. Alright. Alright, so I have my top portion. Alright, so I just wanted to create a flying fish design. Um, I've already imported my flying fish. I want to add a couple quick waves up here. Uh, I can break it down some. Use an eraser tool, which we'll is do a slight variation. Right. A lot of this is touching up. Based on how comfortable you are with the tools. Um, quick little knowledge. Alright, so we have that section done. Um, I do have one more out of here. I believe this one is the uh, larger leaf. So keep that one above. And you can always go back and change the color. Some respect for later on for blending. Uh, go back. I want to work with. Uh, I want to create an island. The background of this. So that will be uh, drop right in the back. And because I do have an island, we're going to put in place. So let's just. Keep that in mind, people. Uh, I just want to run flying fish. Uh, add my spritz of water later on. Uh, I believe I have another fish that I want to use that later on. Um, oh, later on. Where is my other flying fish? Oh, here we go. I should be labeling them. It's my fault. So I have that one coming out of the wood. Yeah, you like. Make sure you save this. Okay, let's save. And I have a quick island patch. I'm going to drop that in there. That goes back with my other image. We'll drag it to the back. Like so. Remember, if the images are not sharp, you can always fix them. That is not a problem, it's not a huge problem. Keep them like right so. We can always fix that, not a problem. Um, what else I had here? I had the component which was the ship. Now, I don't know what I did, but I did not take out the background. Now, I have to go back and fix it. Unfortunately, I had a high power select tool, which can quickly knock some of the background up for me. Alright. And anyway, that will be going through the path, so I wanted to just drop that right behind. Um, uh, what is that layer? I believe it's two or three. Coming right through that channel. So I'll just take my erase tool. Almost like it's leading the wave a little. And then that last wave I did not add in yet. Uh, that's not it. This right here. Put that close to the front. So this one I can play with a bit more. Yeah. Drop it real quick. 
quick. Like I said, this is just a quick little project, you know, stuff to play around with. find little quick things to fool around with sometimes, time to time. Keeps the adrenaline going. See. So now we have a, a simultaneous two waves here. Crashing amongst each other. Take your blur tool and make sure we drop that out. And with these flying fish, we can yeah, down a little bit. Yeah. Shove some more up here, right here. Now, I like this, but I'm going to have another. I'm going to have to jump in this boat. Wow! Ah! Okay. All right, so like I said, we're just playing around fantasy scene um, 101. Uh, you can always go bad, you can lighten the world up a little bit. I just typically use the adjust tool. Color balance is spread a little bit, a bit natural. I want to match the other waves, and then I can match the background with all of them. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go back here. Let's play with this. Get this just a little bit closer to the waves. See, add a little contrast to this picture. Take a little blur on the edge so it can soften. Soften up a little bit. Soften my background with my, my uh, palm trees. Oh. Of a distance and that background, too, as well. That has to be a little bit blurred out. Come on, come on. A bit too much. Yeah, I could have this ship breaking up, but who cares? We're coming through the channel. That's good enough. Take the bottom and make sure it goes into the middle of it. Alright, so basic background. Sometimes you can go on here and look for, um, you know, birds, I guess. And just use PNG. It's easier that way. PNG! Look. There's some PNG files. Uh, let's grab these. Save this to your picture files. Come back in, open the picture files up. That's not it. Pictures. The plane, boy, the plane. The plane is coming. So now we're just dropping inside here. Oh, hell, no, that's too big. Let's break it down, break it down. 
Alright. These birds. So to keep keep it in the distance, just keep it up to you a little bit. Okay. Bring it down some. Okay. Drop it all over the place. Here. Hey, happy. All right. Uh, the birds. These ones are a little bit larger, so they appear to be in the forefront. Oh, basic power picture. Oh, oh. Let's add a text on it too. All right. See what word, which font can we actually use? Uh, oh, it's a little fishy. It's a little fishy today. In fact, uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. What would go well? Right now, I probably will stick with something simple. Using the blending tool, you can do whatever you want to use. I typically just fool around with it, so I find something I like. I don't know. Uh, I think I try one of these gradient tools. Just drop it in size, nothing special. Stroke on it. Not quite. I like inner shadow. You don't like that a lot, but. Hey, I do. Bring that distance up some. And a little bit darkness to it. I'm about to change that outer glow. I don't see it. Let me move on. Ah. Ta ta ta. So, something basic. I might just uh, maybe have uh, oh. a bring it above it. All right, there we have it. Something quick, basic. 